The diagnosis of esophageal dysmotility can be made in a number of ways. Often we'll look down in the esophagus and notice that it's not contracting normally and this may suggest that you have esophageal dysmotility but it's not the best way for diagnosing it. You may also undergo a barium swallow or esophagram where you drink an opaque liquid and we can watch it go down. That allows us to look at the contractions of the esophagus and see how quickly and smoothly the barium travels from the top of the esophagus and down into the stomach. The esophagus should be very smoothly pushing the barium down, but if it's poor coordination and the esophagus is doing this, uh, the barium often will get caught up, it'll go down slowly, and sometimes it'll even go upwards instead of down. The most accurate diagnosis though for esophageal dysmotility is what's called a manometry. There's a catheter placed in the esophagus and we have you swallow some water and this will actually objectively evaluate your contractions in the esophagus, how strong they are, how weak they are, how often they happen and how well coordinated they are, giving us a very accurate objective diagnosis of esophageal dysmotility.